Hey, good morning everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. It's a good day to be alive, my friends. Yes, it is. Today I typically work a 16-hour shift for one of my clients, but we had to schedule things a little bit differently for this weekend due to the fact that I'm going out of town for a week-long camping trip called Starwood in Ohio. And because of this trip, I picked up a couple shifts on Saturday and Sunday, so it's just a strange weekend, and it's strange how life works out too, in fact, because I am working my first performance artist gig in weeks now, later on tonight. And by chance, I was asked to work this gig after we already scheduled this strange scheduling about a month earlier. So it's just funny how life works out sometimes. And on another note, when it comes to it being funny how life works out, next weekend I'm working two more entertainment gigs in Cleveland, Ohio. So I'll have to leave the festival for Friday and Saturday night, two of the busiest, most fun nights of the festival, to go work a couple of entertainment gigs, which I'm equally excited about, in all honesty. So when I'm done with those gigs, I can come back Saturday night and make it back in time, hopefully, for the big bonfire. At the end of the Starwood Festival on Saturday night, they burn a big, big, big fire in the middle of a field that's about the size of a small log cabin. And people dance around it all night, and they express gratitude to each other, and, and just kind of reflect on how the week went uh, as they slowly built this community uh, at the festival grounds. So if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what this crystal ball stuff is all about, this crystal ball has been a long part of my identity for quite some time. More than half of my life, in fact. I'm 37. I'm turning 38 in just a couple days. July 15th, folks. July 15th. And I will be 38, and I've been contact juggling since I was about 15 or 16 years old. So yeah, that's about 22 years of my life I've been contact juggling. Contact juggling is juggling while you stay in contact with the object you're manipulating. And if you're interested in learning how to do this, lucky for you, here on my channel I teach a weekly circus and flow arts tutorial. And a number of those circus and flow arts tutorials is how to do the art of contact juggling. You can do this with anything round. You can do it with a billiard ball. You can do it with a lacrosse ball. You can do it with those Chinese medicine balls or the Asian health balls with the chime inside, they look all metallic and they have a jingle. Those work just fine. In fact, that's what I started with. And this here, my friends, is a four inch acrylic sphere. And we also have an assortment of three inch acrylic spheres as well. This is probably more of a friendlier size to get started with, not only because it's not as heavy, but it's a friendly enough size for one to be able to do multiple spheres. So if this is something that's interesting to you, you can pick up a sphere around your house and watch some of my tutorial videos here on my channel, click on my playlist section, then click on the Circus and Flow Arts tutorials link or even the Contact Juggling tutorials link to know more about how I can teach you how to teach yourself the art of contact juggling. And you can see if it's for you. And if it's for you, please hit me up with the email down below, theamazingfleck at gmail.com, and you can ask about my acrylic spheres because I do indeed sell these acrylic spheres and that's how I support myself here on the channel is by your generous donations and your purchases for my acrylic spheres. Anyways, folks, back to the vlogging. So I'm having coffee and a piece of celery for breakfast here today because part of my dietary philosophy lately is trying to get all the vegetables as early as I can in the day to make sure I lock in my servings of vegetables. Because if you're anything like me, getting your full servings of vegetables every single day can be a bit of a chore sometimes. I love my vegetables, but it's just too easy to just not eat enough of them with how everyone else in the world eats around me. There's a lot of people who eat meat and a lot of people wanna share food with me. I'm trying to eat more vegetables. I'm trying to get more trim and more fit and live a longer, healthier life. It all starts with your celery, kids. So later on tonight, I'll be doing a show in Royal Oak at a restaurant that's opening up a premiere with a couple of friends of mine. I'll be doing strolling contact juggling and then some fire antics later on in the night, doing some devil sticks on fire perhaps, maybe even a contact juggling fireball. And then I will finish up two more shifts this weekend before promptly heading out to Wisteria Campgrounds in Ohio for the Starwood Festival. I'll teach my workshops on Wednesday and then I'll be taking workshops throughout the rest of the week. Thursday night or Friday morning probably, I'll head to Cleveland, stay at a friend's house, work a wedding party, and then the next day I will have some breakfast with said friends and then head on over to another part of Cleveland to participate in another show hosted by an entertainment company that is doing a variety show and they asked me, of all people, Doug from Detroit or the amazing Fleck from Detroit to come down and participate in their event. It's been a long time since I've been able to work this many gigs in such a short period of time and I'm very, very much excited. So when I get back from Ohio on Sunday of next week, I am going to have to work eight shifts in a row, seven of which will be 16 hours long 
and one of them will be six hours long. And the one that's six hours long, it just so happens I got offered another job opportunity. Luckily, during the 10 hour period where I am free and available that day. So it's just amazing how life works out and how timelines can work out. And it's things like this that keep me from being a complete full-blown atheist. There's something out there that's looking out for me, I feel, at times. Life is just a mystery and sometimes there are just some crazy coincidences out there that maybe it's just random chance, but then again, if everything is just random chance, how and why this is ultimately the question. But then the other question, to counter that question, is how and why anything else possible anyways either. So this is just how things happened and I'm not gonna make an answer about whether or not something is out there looking out for me or for everyone else. It's ultimately not about me, it's about the whole entire cosmos and whole entire universe, and I just count myself as a very, very lucky duck amidst all this chaos. So I'm very fortunate and lucky to be here. However, things are ran around the cosmos or around the whole entire world and the universe. I'm just lucky to be here, and that's my attitude. I'm gonna keep trying my best to be the best version of myself I can be, keep trying to do the right thing, and keep posting every single day on YouTube because uh, that's something that has been providing me with a lot of uh, personal enrichment on a deep level inside myself, uh, learning how to edit videos and put myself out there for the whole world to see and to share my skills with other people or anyone out there who's willing to listen and willing to watch. And I hope that this stands the test of time. I've been posting every single day for the year of 2021 and I intend on doing every single day of 2021, even with the next couple weeks being as crazy as they are. So on that note, I should probably really get going. I have a lot of work to get done today before I get to my gig later on tonight. But before I do let you go, I have to say that part of what I'll be doing later on tonight is be balancing this four inch ball on top of my head. Let's see here, I haven't done it at all today. This is my first attempt doing it. And believe it or not, when you first put it on your head, it can be a little difficult to keep it on top of your head. But the neat thing about this ball balancing on top of the head thing is that the longer it sits in one spot, the more the blood rushes there and it creates this little kind of pillow to help hold it in place. So right now I think I got the spot that I'm familiar with and if I hold it there for about five or 10 minutes, it gets so much easier to the point where I can walk around and I can drop down and raise up swiftly without it falling off or at least minimal risk of it falling off. So that's pretty neat. Now, one of the things I'm self-conscious about, I'm self-conscious about quite a few things, in fact. I'm self-conscious about talking too much whenever I get comfortable, and I'm getting very, very comfortable in front of this camera. It's kind of scary. I'm sharing a lot of information about myself, and that's just the price I'm willing to pay to put myself out there in the world. I hope, like I said earlier, that this stands the test of time, and that many years from now, if I accomplish anything major with my life, people can look back, and this is when the amazing Fleck just started his online uh, appearances and posting online and putting himself out there as a human being and as an artist. So, I don't know, maybe it's just a dream, but it's worth doing. I think it's worth trying. It's better than just not doing anything at all and just living my life and not trying at all. I want to make music, I want to make art, I want to paint, I want to draw, I want to sing, I want to dance. There's so much I want to do and there's so much of me that I want to share with the world and there's so much of the world that I want to take in because without everything else going on around me, I won't have the inspiration necessary to create the things I want to create to share with the world. Anyways, I digress. The point of me bringing this up is that one of the things I'm very self-conscious about, or at least I was very self-conscious about in my early 20s, was my thinning hair and my receding hairline. And I need to balance this on my head because it's a very, very nice ambient way of entertaining folks. It gathers a lot of attention with minimal effort on my part and then allows me to do a nice steady build to do a nice performance throughout the evening. So when I'm doing this, I look at my hair and I see that it's very, very thin. The, the hairline is very much receding here. And what I did the past couple years, I resorted to just shaving it all off. And it gave me a, a significant amount of confidence just to have no hair there. I, did, I just wake up and I would go. I wouldn't have to think about carefully positioning my hair in such a way that it didn't look as thin. Who am I fooling? I'm just fooling myself for like that two minutes in the mirror when I'm trying to cover up that receding spot over there or whatever, and then you leave the house, the wind blows, and then it just looks thin again anyways. And The things we do to deceive ourselves, folks. Am I right? Am I right? Huh? Huh? Well, anyways, I want to take advantage of this moment with a little cinema magic. Let's see what it's like to have hair right now, and then hair not right now. And then hair again, and then hair no longer. And then hair today, and then and then gone tomorrow. It's interesting because I've had a relative in my family recently who went to Turkey and was there for a vacation to visit, but also because they were having a surgery for hair transplants. Now these hair transplants, they take hair from the back of your head and they put them in the front and then they do a little bit of stem cell technology to make sure that these hair transplants hold. 
So after you get them put in, it looks kind of like a bad tattoo. And then after a little while, the skull heals up and then the scabs start coming off and then you have hair in places you didn't have it before. And then something crazy happens. All of the hair that they transplanted or most all of it falls out. And then after a little bit of time happens, newer, fresher hair grows out from the places where the hair transplants fell out. So the hair transplants, they help open up the hair follicle again and makes them want to regrow hair again is the theory. And I think that's very often the case what happens with this hair transplant operation. So in Turkey, they do one of the best quality jobs in the world and also for a very, very affordable price. So I was actually considering by fall or early winter this year, I'll be able to see my, my family member and see how their hair is holding up and whether or not it was a good decision for them to spend the money and do that. And I was thinking if it turns out good enough for them and after I get all my priorities in line, I get my house in order and I get all my house stuff updated and I have my health insurance back again, I was thinking if I save up some money, should I get hair transplants? I kind of miss having hair. I really do. I really like the idea of having long flowing locks blowing in the breeze. And I just miss having hair and styling it. So what do you think? Should I consider getting hair transplants if it's affordable and if it's not too expensive? Drop a link down below. Let me know if the amazing flex should get long locks or just rock the, the shaven head do. Because what I've been doing for the past five or 10 years with the thinning long hair on the top and the short hair on the sides to try to compensate with the blend is just getting old for me and I just don't like the way it looks. So I resort to wearing hats all the time. And with this shaved dome, I like how it looks and it's a lot cheaper than getting hair transplants but on the other hand i'd really like to have hair again anyways i digress let's get back to having hair once more i guess we'll keep the hair for the rest of this video thanks very much for watching folks i know that was ridiculous but i appreciate you listening to everything i had to say about what's going on in my life how busy it's been how many challenges are to come up here and how i am going to stay relentless and post every single day whether you like it or not whether i like it or not we're going to get through this year together or even if it's just me all by myself, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I have to, there's no other option. I've come this far, we have to see what happens. So thanks very much for watching folks. Please check out my playlist section. I post every single day here on YouTube about many different things. And I've organized my playlist section in such a way it makes it easier for people to find something that may pique their interest. So thanks very much again for getting through this whole video with me here today. And please subscribe to my channel just so you know what's happening later on down the line. And you won't regret it, uh, especially after this year is done when you see all the amazing things that will be coming out of this channel. I've been learning a lot about video editing. I have a lot of ideas for comedy content coming out. And that's it. That's all I got for you today. I'll end this video the way I've been ending a lot of my videos lately with these words, as cheesy as they might be to some of the folks out there. Please remember to never give up and do your best. Stay true to you and who you are and what you stand for, and be amazing, my friends. The way to be amazing, what I mean here at least, is to just be the best version of yourself. Be the best version of you you could possibly be, and just do the right thing. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.